Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar on how to increase AML efficiency by 200% with Evidence Lake. Matt Lau and myself, Eric Trunley, will be the speakers for today's session, and we will introduce ourselves respectively. Matt, please introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Matt Lau, and I'm the AML product manager here at Guardian Analytics. And I previously had around six years of experience working at mid-sized to large banks in, AML, in various AML departments, um, with going through many different features within the AML. Thank you, Matt. So I'm Eric Tran Lee, Vice President of Product Management at Guardian Analytics. Uh, some quick housekeeping. Um, we recommend that you have one Bright Talk session browser open, uh, otherwise you may have some echo. Um, you can answer questions in the question box and we address them either live and or by email. This webinar is recorded and you'll receive a URL link. Uh, and please rate and suggest content to improve our webinar series. So what are the Guardian Analytics achievement? We truly mean business when it comes to protecting our customers' financial assets. With more than 450 financial institutions as our customers, ranging in scope from millions in assets to 600 billion, we analyze the behavior of over 400 million commercial and retail account holders and protect over $5 billion, $5 billion in banking activities each year, making us the number one in behavior analytics platform for fraud detection. We are now entering the ML space. So what is Guardian Analytics AML Evidence Lake? The Evidence Lake platform has been designed to enable four main capabilities. First, a unified view for fraud and money laundering teams, a multi-source ingestion for many data sources, both from core banking system to existing uh, fraud and ML tools, and a machine learning and real-time behavior analytics of both fraud and ML data. Combined with this capability, we're offering also uh, a unique point-and-click investigation with multi-channel link analysis for analysts to investigate efficiently. This platform is built from the ground up with the best-in-class best modern technology. It provides also, also open APIs to integrate with multiple financial crimes, regulatory, and private services uh, from FinCEN, OFAC, or 314B service provider, as well as other KYC data. Now, you may ask yourself why Guardian Analytics is introducing AML Evidence Lake um, in so late, because a AML in itself, this program has been running for a couple of years now, and there are existing ML tools out there. Well, the answer is simple. It's at the request of our own customer. The biggest challenge that our customer has been telling to us with their current existing tools is, if you look at that survey we, 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 uh, we did um, last year, is over 66% of the time uh, to invest is being taken by the time to investigate. It takes about eight hours per alert, per ML alert, to go from time to dispose, time to investigate, and time to basically verify, in case of a large organization, you have QA team verifying the ML investigation, and time to file the SOAR. And that is in the best case scenario where you have susceptible SOAR to be filed that are not being rejected by FinCEN. So for us, it was very clear that the design point for the next generation of AML has to be about efficiency. So if it takes about eight hours per alert to file a SOAR, for us, the idea that you could easily have a design point whereby you can, feel, you can try to have at least three SOARs for eight to 10 hours, free substantial SOARs being filed for eight to 10 hours. That would be the design point. This is where we say we, we increase it by 200%. Now you can get into the details of it. And as you can see here, if you characterize the life cycle of an AML alert along the lines of time to dispose an alert, time to investigate, time to verify, and time to file, 
there are many nuances, but you know these are the the main cycles that you will have within an MO uh, case. You can see that the time to investigate is usually four to seven hours, and so this is the point where we do believe we can make tremendous uh, efficiency uh, increase. We want to bring it back to about 2.5 hours in average. So in total, and we are making more progress in other spaces like the time to verify as well as the time to dispose. But you know, are, it seems to be not that very meaningful, but with the number of alerts, it does start to count. So if we can bring back the efficiency so that we can complete three SARS in about eight to 10 hours, about 60 to 50 minutes, that is a tremendous increase of efficiency. So how we go about doing that? First of all, we need to understand the current challenges that is uh, that are leading to that time to investigation that is so long. Most of the data right now are siloed. You have fraud data separated from customer risk rating, separated from KYC tools. The CTR sometimes is separated from transaction monitoring. All those silos of, silos of data are coming with their own um, you know, panel, screen panel. So you have to jump through multiple screens to perform an investigation. And that is one of the biggest problems. With Evidence Lake, our design point is first to complement existing system with a single financial crime repository where the data of various banking systems are being presented in a single pane of glass. It is designed to bring all the information needed for an analyst to quickly disposition an alert, perform efficiently investigation, and the Evidence Lake platform will bring its own capability to do alerting with the, risk, with the associated risk scoring coming from those various tools. And this includes QIC information, for example. As such, you have a single place where the analyst is able to cross-reference user account profiles with transaction associated information alert and risk scoring, and easily accessible and preview for analysts, uh, manager, and auditors. From there, the analyst can move to the multi-channel link analysis, which is a unique technology from Guardian that allows to have a, vis a very visual, intuitive view of all data in the evidence lake and their relationship uh, cross, um, cross teams, you know, fraud, AML, and, and, and why not security, and also cross institutions if needed to be. The multi-channel link are expressed as graph nodes. If graph will represent millions to millions of records, including pictures, videos that are stored in the evidence lake across those teams. As such, we're building truly a unique platform that will be the next generation for financial crime investigation. Now we're gonna move into uh, the solution itself, uh, and I'm going to transition the slide to Matt. Thank you, Eric. As we all know, the four key components to AML operations side is CTR, transaction monitoring, customer risk rating, and OFAC screening. Now, these come in various uh, variations. So transaction monitoring can be called transaction surveillance, but it's technically the same thing. Uh, each are of equal importance, but from our customer surveys, majority of them want improvements in the currency, current transaction monitoring process. Therefore, that's the part where we're going to focus on today. Now, I divided the cost of the transaction monitoring into four segments, which was introduced earlier by Eric, and that is the time to dispose an alert, time to investigate an alert, time to verify an alert, and time to file a SAR. Now, this is the total cost of ownership for transaction monitoring. The, the TCO, I'll call that, um, is separated into four segments, and the green is the cost to dispose of false positive. A red is to dispose in a truly unusual alert. And the yellow is the cost to investigate. Orange is the cost to a QA, and blue is the cost to file a SAR. As, uh, looking at the picture, uh, we can all see that the yellow, the cost to investigate, consists of the largest cost. And today we're going to talk about how to improve the efficiency for, for that cost. Now let's take a look at some real uh, example. 
time is money. So fifteen thousand dollar a year, it's going to cost. Uh, well, assuming the assumption of um, paying an analyst thirty dollar an hour, and assuming that there's a ninety percent false positive rate within the rules, uh, fifteen thousand alert is going to cost um, a bank anywhere from around like one point seven million dollars. Now, with Evidence Lake, it is designed to reduce that cost by fifty six percent to seven hundred and fifty k. And taking a larger example. Um, let's say you have 50,000 alerts per year. Um, putting it into our TCO calculator, um, we can get a, a cost of around $6.2 million, whereas with Evidence Lake, you can reduce that cost again by 56% to $2.7 million. And, Evidence Lake is designed to reduce the average time spent to dispose, investigate, verify, and file a SAR. The efficiency is gained in that Evidence Lake has a unified uh, user interface. So without Evidence Lake, I'll need to separately go to Google to do researches, log into a KYC system, a transaction system, a watch list system, a check image system, a wire system, you name it. There's a lot of systems that I need to log into and all of them take a lot of time, especially if I forget a password here and there. Now with Evidence Lake, all that system will be included inside Evidence Lake. So it would simply be Evidence Lake and Google for any third-party searches. All the information you need will be there, and the Manager Dashboard provides plenty of data and statistics to help me triage and investigate my alerts. The multi-channel link analysis will connect all the relationship for me where I can spot the entire relationship and any anomalies in, in seconds. Throughout the link analysis, I will be going through documents and documents to connect the dots, and it's not only time-consuming, but very error-prone because I'm, I'm looking at physical documents. Um, and the automated e-filings and the pre-filled SAR form will make my filing a SAR an easy an error-free process. So as the manager, as, as a manager, the manager dashboard gives me one view to view all the filings, the alerts, the cases, average time it takes to close a case, and the cases assigned per user. Let's take a look at it um, carefully. On the top left right there, that's, you see the, the pending filings those are really the, the key tasks as a manager. I need to either approve a filings or reject filings like SARS. Um, maybe at a bigger institution, I'll have a QA team do that for me. Uh, but in, th in this example, we'll pretend the, the manager will be doing it. And then I can see right away how long it takes to cl or my analysts are closing an alert right there in the middle. And on the top right, we can see all the details from an alert. What type of alerts are being generated on each month? Are they high risk, medium risk? If I want to see further details of it, um, it can be seen too, which I'll show you in a second. And at the bottom right right there, you can see the amount of analysts that are, um, what work are being assigned to the analysts, how much work they have right now, if they need more work, if they need less work, all in nice charts. Now let's take a look at the detail of the alert. Here I can see exactly where all the potential unusual transactions are triggering in the alerts. Um, and it's helpful to spot new trends and potential weaknesses in, say, certain branches. So in this case purposes, it shows the U.S. only, but the map can show worldwide. Uh, additionally, on the bottom right, you can see the number of occurrences and the, the, the value for each suspect that are generating alerts. And you can see the channels that are being, the alerts are being generated from. As an analyst, I can see a unified user interface for investigation. As I can see, the alerts are listed to the left on the same screen where I can access the customer's information on the right. And 
I can see the watch list right, right below that where I can log in and look at negative news. I can see the transaction right there um, right below uh, or next to the, the negative news searches where I can see all the transactions associated with the alert. So they're all in one single view and I don't need to log into say four different systems to pull all these information in. And here is the link analysis that will help me uncover um, all the potential hidden relationship. This is the initial view where it shows me all the details associated with this account in the alert. So we can see right off the bat that there's one primary account holder and two beneficiaries. And you can see there's five alerts associated with this account. Now let's say I want a deep digger. I want a deep um, further in and see what are associated with my, the primary account holder, what is associated with the beneficiaries, what else is there. Instead of looking at various documents, I can simply expand the chart and it will reveal all the information associated with them in, a, in seconds. And if there's any anomalies, I can spot them right off the bat. If there's any more connections, they can be displayed here as well. It just so happened that right here there's only a primary account holder and two beneficiaries. And as, a, as an analyst, I know how hard it is to file a SAR. And this is why SAR filing is made easy in Evidence Lake. All the information is pre-filled in the system and generated in, in the system generated SAR form. I only need to double check the information to see if there's any other outside information that I need to be added to the form. And by outside information, it will be any individuals that are potential non-bank customers that where we, there's no data points for them. If there's any um, information for any bank customer and you add them into the system, the form will automatically prefill all that information. So as an analyst, all I need to do is simply check the information and click Generate SAR. So Evidence Lake is designed to increase the efficiency of your investigation of transaction monitoring alert by 200% through the use of a unified user interface, a manager dashboard, a multi-channel link analysis, and auto e-filing. Evidence Lake replaces all the previous tedious and manual way to do things with automated and modern ways to do things. And by decreasing the time to do things, your efficiency increases and your cost decreases. Now I'll hand it back over to Eric. Thank you, Matt. So you can learn more. Uh, we have actually uh, quite a few assets uh, for you to learn more about, about um, you know, Guardian Analytics fraud detection, as well as AML. Uh, as you can see here, we have had uh, already recorded a couple of webinars on fighting financial crime in the world of blockchain. Uh, you want to understand same-day ACH, uh, what banking, digital banking online and mobile fraud in real time, as well as uh, how to best, uh, f best practices to fight modern financial crime and anti-money laundering. All the URL has been listed here. Uh, we have also upcoming webinars like real-time fire fraud detection, and please also visit our website where you're going to see all um, the assets that uh, has been recorded as well as white paper and slides. We are also participating to a couple of events, um, uh, like the first of all, sorry, the Bright Talk channel. Uh, this is our uh, online digital channel for all the, the webinars. You can go and, and join that, that, uh, that channel, and you're going to see ongoing uh, Bright Talk channel webinar from Guardian Analytics. And we're participating in April to two events. One is the ACAMS, MondayLaundering.com, in Hollywood, Florida. We have a booth, 512. Uh, you're welcome to, to come and, and, and see us. And we're participating to the NACHA pay, uh, Payment 2018 conference in San Diego on booth 215. Now this open up the Q&A session. Let me take a look at the, the questions we have had online. 
So here's the first question, and I think it's for you, Matt. Uh, I saw on the link analysis that only the address and phone number are linked. Can other data points be linked? If so, what other data points? Uh, yeah, this is a great question. Um, actually, any data point can be linked as long as the data is provided. It just so happened that our mock data only linked the, the phone numbers and the address. Some other data points that can be linked can be email addresses or IP addresses, you name it. Um, as long as we have the data, we can link it. Great. There's a second question. If I want the fraud and ML department to be separated and not be able to see each one, each other's alert, is that possible? Yes, I'll answer that one too. Um, the, the question is yes, everything is configurable by the manager. Uh, the manager can set that, okay, this fraud team can now only see fraud alerts and the AML team can only see AML alerts, or if they even want to go more granular where uh, the CTR team can only see CTR alerts and the transaction monitoring team can only see transaction monitoring alerts, uh, it can be configured that way too. Or if both teams want to see everyone's alert, that can be configured. Um, so everything is configurable in Evidence Lake. Great. Uh, third question: How long does the evidence lake? How long evidence lake can retain data for? Can the data be changed? Uh, let me answer this one. Um, now, in in the case of AML, um, the regulatory answer is you need to keep five years of data, and and depending on the type of data you have, uh, either that just text file, but videos or, or, or pictures, that becomes a, a, a tremendous issue for traditional tools. Evidence Lake can store unlimitedly, uh, and you can retain as long as you need it. Uh, because we are using modern secure cloud technology, um, both from the storage and compute standpoint, uh, we can really store unlimitedly all type of data very securely with SOC 2 and PCI compliance. As for the data, can the data be changed? Absolutely. I mean, the, first of all, when the data are being ingested, uh, they are immutable. In other words, they are being stored live in their raw format uh, for evidences, for piece of evidence. But then, if you have a, a format of data that starts to be changed, we are totally able to ingest the new format and the old format and map them out so that you, from an evidence lake perspective and user interface, you still get to see the data. Uh, what matter? Uh, it, it doesn't matter if the structure has changed underneath. So I'm waiting for any other questions. Great. Um, so this wraps up this session uh, on AML Evidence Lake and increasing 200%. Uh, please come and visit us at uh, our ACAM conference and, and NACHA in April. And uh, looking forward for the next webinar. Thank you. Thank you.